Hello and welcome to Executive Assault 2, a uh, brand new RTS game, or rather should we say RTS FPS game, and uh, I'm going to be trying to show you guys just how this game works. So to start it off, uh, this is primarily an RTS game that has some FPS style aspects. As you notice, I'm, I am walking around here in the first person view. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into the RTS view if I can get up this ramp. Uh, if I can get up this ramp. There we go. So in order to access the RTS, like Commander Overview, we have to go over to this console and use it. Now we're in RTS mode, and the objective is to, well, assassinate the other team's leader, uh, their character model here. You see, I'm sitting in this chair, and the other team is somewhere else in this galaxy. It's a small little galaxy map. We're over here, and we haven't explored everything else yet, so we'll have to go find them and destroy everything. And there's a lot of cool things you can do in here, like everything from Death Stars to infantry ops and all kinds of things. So let's go ahead and just start moving along. So this is the research panel. Uh, these are all the different technologies and like the uh, the tech trees, so forth and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to cooling efficiency. It's the only account uh, research we could do. Uh, I'm not not sure it's ever worth doing it, but I'm going to do it anyways because it's the only economy that we can do to start with. And we have this concept of a reactor where we if the reactor absorbs resources or has a, an upkeep and in order to well prevent us from overheating and exploding and self-detonating like you know an economy running out of resources like if our economy ever hits zero resources we lose the game. And well we're just going to kind of ramp up the power mode and cause it to draw up to 18 times the amount of resources per second. Uh, but the benefit of that is all of our stuff gets 150% time scaling. So our research goes faster, our construction goes faster. And speaking of construction, let's go ahead and start constructing things. The first thing we want to build is a docking bay. It allows interactions of things in space and such. Uh, next thing I want to build is a robot factory? Yeah, let's do a robot factory here. And just let those build as we can go back into this view and see them building out in space. Here we are. Aren't they pretty? They'll uh, be forming in with textures. There we go. As they slowly form and generate in space. Uh, next up is going down to the docking bay. And we're going to want to start constructing a couple starships. These are just basic fighter craft. Things that we can have going out and scanning and scouting throughout the entire galaxy to figure out where everything is. And while those are going, I'm going to go ahead and head back into this space station and start building additional things. In this case, I'm going to build one of these gateway facilities. Here we are. And also a goods factory. Here we are. Let's go ahead and build it like so. Face that way. Very good. And a shipyard attached to this guy. There we go. We'll have that going, and we'll see these start to construct. It looks like our first fighter is going, so we'll go ahead and set him to scout mode, and he will go across to the different territories unknown. Looks like we have some visitors. These are, they have the trader icon on it, so this is a trader. What it will do is it will dock in our, or at least it'll ask per, for permission. Speaking of which, let's go over to the trading resource. I don't want to auto buy cool, coolant crystals, uh, so I, I just, I don't want that. Coolant is the resource that's will determine whether or not that our reactor explodes. If it, if this coolant resource ever hits zero, then we explode is what's basically going to happen. Ironite is the other resource. It's like our minerals, our crystals. It's everything that we purchase will be done via Ironite, like all the resources and uh, ships and critters and anything that we build will be done out of Ironite. And money is used for trading. So let's go ahead actually and go over to resources processing and let's create five of our own goods and as you guys suspect we are the incursion company and we make glorious cheese which we could sell to these traders that are docking at our base right now for money and such so let's see what kind of goodies we can get out of that so let's go back to research research is got 14 seconds left looks like we have a diplomatic message oh dear we have encountered the death bringers in this system so we're going to go ahead and bring death to them because they wish to bring death to us. Let's go back to our system then. Uh, let's see. It looks like our cheese has been sold. And he's sold us also some uh, ironite. So it looks like we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and start working on the next upgrade, next technology. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, ore processing. This allows us to focus on our economy a little bit more. Now, basically, the way the ore processing works is I will show you eventually. Yes. Yes, I am good at this. Let's go ahead and build a second starship there. Uh, not that we're going to be building a lot of that just yet. We'll build one of these. 
no, no, not one of these. I'm going to go over to here. Build one of these. There we go. This is an expansion facility. It lets us claim other territories, other solar systems for our own. Now, another thing I want to do is go over to unit construction, robots. These are infantry. I'm going to build a bunch of these. Let me just go ahead and get 10 of them. That'll do. To start out with, and go ahead and move them once they're complete. I'll move them over to our warp gate facility. It's one of the other structures I built here. Speaking of warp gate, let's go over here and tell you to move. Uh, that's right, I can't can't do that. I need to go this way. You go over here, very good, and go over to that territory. We will claim that territory eventually. What I'm planning on doing is planning on starting an invasion there. Looks like we have also encountered the House of Order, which are in this system. Nice. Very good. Uh, what are uh, the other areas around? So we've explored this way, we've explored this way, we also have to explore here and here. Uh, the enemy base is probably over in this one, as they usually don't spawn adjacent to us, I don't think. Probably not, so we'll, we'll figure that out pretty soon, I suppose. As you head over to claim that system. We start, this is going to be our, our beachfront. It's a troop transport of a kind. It's actually a, a gateway builder, so we'll go ahead and move these units over here and start preparing our invasion of the next territory. Now, there is an entire diplomacy aspect, and we can bribe and have different relations with them, and I... I, my relationship with most other uh, species in games like these is uh, Supreme Overlord and or Deathbringer. So we'll, we'll just continue that that running trait. Let's see what else can we build here. Let's go ahead and build a couple one of these using, using docking bays or starship bays 1 and 2. Here we go. Outpost mining. I'm just going to have this guy around. I don't have any particular need for him just yet. Is I don't have an unclaimed space territory, but uh, I do want to be able to use him quickly should the event, should the need arise. So where are you? You are here. It looks like there are hostile forces on this. <gasps> no, somebody else got to it first. Oh, well, that can't be, that can't be allowed. Uh, let's see, where are you? Anoria, galaxy map. All right, so they captured that one already. So I'm just going to... I'm gonna not deal with it, because it looks like they have a decent amount of infantry on the field already. Yeah, that's five, six, seven, and counting. So I'll have to invade that a little bit later. I'm gonna go try to claim this unclaimed one here. Yes, this one has all the goodies on it too. Actually, you guys are not... I need one of you guys. They're currently in combat right now. I, I don't really care. I need them to, ex to explore this territory. Let this guy deal with cleaning up this. Research is still going. We need a little bit more resources for our goodies. So I'll we'll just keep this up. Let me go ahead and also construct an additional miner. These guys mine all the resources for us. Or processing research is complete. Okay, so we have that done. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on the next technology. Uh, next one we want is probably going to be some one of these weapon systems or starships. Let's go with the weapon systems. We'll go ahead and do this uh, project basic projectiles. These are like the different weapon systems we have available to research. Uh, the neutron rounds, these are our basic uh, ballistic projectiles. We have ion lasers and thermionic style lasers and then torpedoes later on. Uh, the ballistic projectiles, the basic ones, are really cheap and easy to use. So I'm going to be using a lot of those early game and then if the game proceeds to go longer then I'll start researching the other ones. Uh, but ore processing is what we want, so I'm going to go ahead and do this here, and this here, and one of these right here. We'll get three of them. Now in order to use these, we have to go down to resource control and enable them. Now once these are enabled, all of the ironite that we obtain will not be directly put into our reserves, but instead have to be refined, which means we have to um, spend a little bit of extra time refining them, which is why I have three of these guys going. That way, they don't take absolutely forever. It looks like there's an un unknown quantum port. That's going to be... <gasps> that's their troop transport. Ooh. Okay. In that case, let's go ahead and get a little cheeky here. Cancel this. Get our robots. Constructing additional robots, please. Thank you. It looks like they're coming in for an attack formation, which is fine by me. You need to dock over here. Diplomatic message. Ooh, goody. Our, ooh, our upgraded weapons are available, so let's go ahead and start the next research tree. Go over to our unit construction, cancel all of these, and build new ones using bigger and better weapons. There we go. Much better. 
So they're going to be docking somewhere. I'm going to get all of my military to, military units together. Uh, let's see. They bought two cheese off of me and sold an additional bunch of money or iron to me, which means I can use all of those funds to, well, fund my army. Now, they are coming in with the troop transport. I want this to happen. So I'm going to take my Corvette and just kind of... I can use the Corvette to kill off the troop transport. I don't want to do that. I want them to attack me. So I'm going to come over here and move my troops right over here. Wait for them to try to come in. Enemy gateway probe is docking. He's docking with the shipyard, so he'll be docking right here. And if you notice, he creates this... Uh, this gateway type thing. It's, it's literally a teleporter that goes straight to the opposing base. I am going to use that to my advantage because it is a two-way teleporter. So I'm going to amass my military units here and then push onto their their base. I don't know exactly where their base is. This will be a good good scouting territory for it. Are they sending off more units? Oh, they brought a frigate of their own. Okay, good. Here's my frigate something to shoot at, speaking of which. Let's go ahead and work on our next research. And while the enemy ships are approaching, cancel all these, build more of these defenses. Let's go ahead and upgrade our defenses while it's approaching, and then send our military units over to their base, figure out what exactly they've got going over there. Uh, considering how early they're here and trying to do things, I suspect that they are, well, going to be very aggressive. So I expect to see a lot of aggression out of them. We should get notification about where those dudes went. Alright, well, it appears that my units have simply ceased to exist, which is extremely unfortunate because they were expensive. Now we need to raise our shields and defend ourselves. Shields are online, guns are online, newly and upgraded. Let's go ahead and bring our frigate back because apparently all of my units have ceased to exist. Welcome to Alpha Games. Um, let's go ahead and try building a couple more. Uh, we don't have enough. Mo we don't have enough money yet. Don't have enough money to do that. There we go. All right, they're gone. Blew them all away. Let's go ahead and reset our power. Back to shutting everything down. Very good. Now we're back to economy mode. Let's just leave that their setup attached for the moment. Uh, let's see if we could build one unit and manually control them into the other side, because we can manually control our units, and I want to see exactly what happens. Let me go ahead and direct control you. Now if I come right over here, there should be a couple of dudes, a dude or two right around this corner. Uh, this corner. Here we go. Okay, now what happened to my dudes through here? Oh, auto turrets. Blow them up, blow them up, blow them up, blow them up, blow them up. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Blow them up, blow them up. Do it. Okay. Now, I don't know what happened to my dudes because they're clearly not here. But it looks like I just... Yeah, it looks like if I don't... Huh. So if I don't have that territory scouted, any of my units in that territory just cease to exist, which is really... Uh, rather unfortunate. So let me go ahead and send these guys through here. And that should send them right over here. There we go. Now I need you guys to come claim this territory for our own. Thank you. Ooh, warning. Oh no, that's our territory. Oh, he's got a bigger ship already. So he's gone, yeah, he's gone very early aggression style set up here. That's fine. Uh, we want to set this to go right up over here where the unclaimed space is. And we could build a, a resource station over here. It'll have a lot of good things for us. Meantime, let's go over here. Yes. Very good. Diplomatic request. Uh, they're requesting money. I don't really care. Because we took that space station. They they are trying to say, well, either pay us or we're going to attack you. Uh, good luck with that. I'll just get to let that, let that request expire forever. That lives there now. Now, I want to know what happened to my units here. What I'm guessing is, it's just, I'm not going to be able to send units over until I've at least scouted their base to begin with, which is rather unfortunate. So we're, we we got a little bit of money now, but we've got things going. So let's go over to Starships, upgrade these guys to the higher level guns, begin fabrication please, on both star bases. Now there's, this is a very large ship here, they've gone very, 
well, war heavy early on. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful about this. It looks like we are being shot already. Let's go over to station ops, defenses. Raise our shields and activate defense grid. That should keep us alive while our tiny basic ships come to defend us. Is this guy over here yet? They are not. How are you going along? You are not here yet as well. Oh, did you just arrive? You did just arrive. Okay, please go inspect their home world, please. Thank you. That guy is warping over to the top. So we're going to manually control this. Because when you assume direct control over something, it doesn't gain more HP, but it does gain additional firepower. And we're going to use this to our advantage just by, well shooting this thing down. Uh, one other cool feature is you can actually target weapon systems off of the opponent. You see this giant gun here on the side? We're just gonna blow it up. Or, other, here we go, right there. Let's target this one. Just blow it up. Make it go away. Come on. Do it. Do it. Blow it up. Stop. Stop shooting at me. You can't shoot back if you don't have any weapons. Alright, so his, that gun is a little bit tankier than I would like. Ah, there it goes. Now it's gone. Blow up all of his guns. Just shred him. Strip him of everything. Leave him with nothing left. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, the guns on this particular vehicle are less than adequate. We're going to have to upgrade that a little bit. But now we have two more of these guys here, so we should be okay. Nope, nope. I don't actually want them to blow up their beachhead. Let's go ahead and go back to station defenses. Disable everything, set power back to full economic advantage. That way we can leave their gateway attached and just leave our our internal defenses to deal with any infantry that they trickle in. All right, so we did find their base now, which means I should be able to send infantry over, I hope. Is this guy over here yet? Yes, they are. So let's go ahead and move him over to the green zone where we can start the deployment procedure. Uh, next step is for me is going to be capturing this territory. I do not want them to have that territory. It is mine. Diplomatic message. Yes, they are angry with me for not providing them funds. Okay, you're good. You're going here. Next step. Good. I need this guy to move back over here. See if we can't claim their their ill-gotten station. Get a couple of these guys going, just for some defenses, that way we don't get stormed over by the apparently very aggressive AI, which is rather unfortunate, but it's okay, we'll be fine. This mining facility is going, we have quite a lot of resources available to us here. Uh, they are attacking us again, apparently, which is unfortunate. Oh, oh yeah, look at you. That's fun. Aren't you good at what you do? Alright, so we're actually going to engage them, that way I don't have to activate station defenses, because if I activate station defenses and we have the unfortunate consequence of destroying their beachhead, and I don't want to have to deal with creating my own beachhead when I can use theirs to attack their base. How many units do we have? Not many. We don't have nearly enough, is the answer to that question. I think my multiple tiny ships, at least when manually controlled, should be sufficient in order to remove the opponents here. This guy is not yet... My gateway ship? Where's my gateway ship? Why have you not moved over to this territory? Go! Click spam dozen times. Go! Alright. You need to move here. You need to move here. You need to move here. And you should be... The newer model. With these slightly upgraded guns. So if I could trill you, your DPS should be a little bit higher. Think you're still out of range? Yeah, you're still out of range. Let's move in. Ah, uh, the weapons fire has begun. I'm not going to raise station defenses or shields or anything of this sort. I'm going to let the research, let the station keep going full economy mode and just manually deal with this myself. Probably going to lose a frigate or two here. I, I'm okay with this. Let's see if we can't target his larger guns and remove them from play. He's got a larger gun up there. It's a large laser, it looks like. And it's gone. Let's remove his wing-mounted weapon. And... Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. I, uh, friendly fire is a, is a very big thing around here, so let's be very careful not to do that. There we go. Now let's remove the ring-mounted weapon. There it goes. Focus on the next thing. 
Nah. I don't see any more very exposed weapons. And he's gone. Alright. One less to deal with. Oh dear. There's another ship here. They're coming. Alright, you need to move this way. Uh oh. They made it past my defenses. Nope. No, they didn't. They just ran past them. That's fine. Let's see. Diplomatic requests. Uh, they're requesting more money out of me again. Ah well. What can you do? You go dock and prepare the beachhead. Let's see, you guys engage here, you engage here. Now this is the bigger boy with all the new weapons. So come on over here and get wrecked. There we go, just going into range. And you're gone. That was fast. Info, repair facility. Research complete. Very good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next set of things we want. I want to get detect infestors because those things, I don't know what they are actually. But it sounds bad and I don't want to get shot by something that I can't see because I can't detect it. Our Ironite facility is going strong. Everything's going. Let's see. We want to station and repair bay. Let's go ahead and put you right here, right the center of mass more or less. Unit construction. Get a couple more of these, one and two, and go back to robots and keep this production just non-stop. Just make 20 of you, just don't ever stop making robots. Aw, oh, their beachhead left. I didn't realize. Oh well. Or one of my dudes blew it up. It's a very real possibility. Alright, Gateway is online. We have a beachhead established to their territory. Their first mining post that they have so illegally obtained shall be reclaimed by us right, let's go ahead and move on they do have some units here we'll just move right on over to their computer and try to claim it ourselves so friendly fire is a thing and the ai is quite dumb so i want to align myself by this door just to give myself the least amount of options for friendly fire now move these units away from the line of fire for my teammates there we go there we go there we go that was a mess, but that was okay. We came out on top by far. Very good. Now move over to this computer and claim it, please. Thank you. And we will now own this station for ourselves. Galaxy map. Very good. So the next step for me is to start camp building up my forces in this territory, right around this gate. That way we keep them locked and we own the rest of the galaxy for ourselves while I build up my forces for the final assault. You are good. You go to the gate. Engage, please. All forces, engage. Unit construction. These are still building. We want to be building as all times as possible because welcome to RTSs. Fabricate. And fabricate. Research completes. What did we complete? Detected festers has been completed. Next step then shall be gateway level 2. I want to get a second one of these probes going. Speaking of probes, where is this guy? This guy done yet? You. Very good. Uh, last dude, return home, please. Thank you. We're going to uh, go ahead and undock. And I'm just going to suicide you run, suicide run you into the opponent's base because uh, these, well, gateway probes, they're free. They don't, they don't really do much. They don't, they literally don't cost anything. Uh, but they're kind of annoying to deal with. So I'm just going to run him into the opponent's territory let him get blown up that way i can rebuild him over here and not have to worry about repairing him isn't that great great idea expendable expendable resources no well you come back to repair the rest of you guys go out into the world at least out into the galaxy to defend our territory against these horrible invaders now what do i need i need more units you're good you're going uh unit construction robots build more of you guys with the top tier guns don't have any energy shields or special weapons or anything for them yet. So we don't have any, like, we're not running with, like, Spartans or anything. we got 30 of these guys. We're, we're going with the, uh, the, the quantity over quality product at this moment. Just give them nice big guns and have them fly out into the system and capture everything. All right, we've got these guys coming in here. Oop, warping in. Isn't that pretty? All right, very good. You guys come down over here. 
actually I don't want these guys in the system I just want them camping the uh, entryway that way anything that tries to come out this way will get exploded it looks like they're finally stopping their whole aggression yeah you can see them building up more and expanding they're like all right well we're not going to be able to take them out this way uh just go run into their base and die thank you all right you move over here nope over here you move over here let's go station ops research is going let's go ahead and upgrade our defenses while we have the opportunity and continue constructing everything. Build more robots, please. Thank you. We need bigger ships is what we need because uh, we're making money at this point faster than I can spend it. Let's build a couple more of these guys because they're cheap. So that means we need to start upgrading all of our things. Like all the things need bigger, better stuff. Uh, for that, probably the best thing to do is get the cruisers. The cruiser is that big ship that they kept attacking us with. Uh, I don't know if I want to get this or energy shields first. Eh. It's fine. We'll get both going. Okay, did we lose our gateway ship yet? Uh, just about. It's almost gone. And there it goes. And then, surprise! Oh, look who's back. Yay! Welcome back to the party, buddy. So we got two of these guys now. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up both of these. Over. Ready to start the engagements. This guy repaired. He is repaired. Let's send him over here. As we build up more and more of our things. Got another 12 units over here. We're going to have a massive army. Uh, 12 plus 43. We've already got up to 55, 55 dudes ready to march onto their battlefield the moment, the moment that these gateway ships land. So, which shouldn't be too difficult considering we have a significant uh, population advantage over the opponents already. Yeah. Yeah, we've got seven in this system alone. They have, what, four? Oh, about to be three. Because look who's showing up over here. Come on. Do it. Do it. Warp in. Yeah, there you are. Get wrecked. Actually, let's go ahead and direct control you. Rotate the camera. And say goodbye to your very, very poor decision-making processes. Because uh, that, that was not a very good idea at all. Would not, would not recommend just warping into... Uh, literally a firing line of starships waiting for you. That's uh, not a good idea. And I have more friends coming over this way too. Yep, yep. D don't do that. Pro tip: don't don't do that. It's bad. All right, these guys are good to go. Warp on over to the next system. Continuing making robots. Military, military expansion. All right. Uh, should I? We've got one minute. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make another wave of these guys. Fabricate you, fabricate you. Let's see, robots make a bunch more of you. Just go. There we go. Very good. Ah, isn't that pretty? All the structures, infrastructure, economy, producing everything. We're mining out the entire galaxy and turning it all into guns. Uh, it's very American. Very American way of thinking, I suppose. It looks like they're sending out another dude. But our gate ships are here and ready. We'll be sending everything over to their their solar system very, very soon. I should go ahead and check on how much everyone hates me. Uh, let's see, the Fluffingtons, the cat people, they uh, don't particularly care. Uh, let's see, these guys, the Deathbringers, they're always unhappy. I don't think they've changed at all. These guys, the ones that have been perpetually asking us for money, um, they're unhappy, but they have the firepower of uh, Kitten by comparison to what we have, considering that we are the only thing in space above their system. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's going to work out well for them if they attempt to do anything about it. So now we're just going to go ahead and uh, move, just kind of move into the system. Actually, you know what? Let's wait. Hold, hold, that, hold that thought for a moment. We're going to... They're, they're sending some more units, this time in more than one. Which means we can... Oh dear. My dudes are warping out. That's fine. Oh! Oh, those are my dudes warping out. I thought they were warping in. Never mind. Let's let's go. All, all together, please. There we go. And we will begin, begin the assault on their territory. Alright. Legion, warp in. Warp in. 
Where are you? Yes. <laughs> there we go. This is how you assault a solar system. Let's do this. Alright, all units, move forward. Just move right over here. Here? There we go. That looks good. And you guys in particular need to dock, and you need to dock. There we go. Blow everything up. Just move over it. Oh, look at all the fighters. They're trying so hard. Because they get gunned out of the sky. Oh, jeez. Honestly, I think they did more damage to us by just allowing friendly fire to happen. Oh dear, oh my. Research. Continue researching. Let's go ahead and start upgrading our lasers so we can get additional laser power. Just so we can get later game weapons. Look at this. Oh yeah. That's how we do it. Alright, you. Come over here, please. You're causing a lot of traffic jam. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You also causing traffic jams, so please come over here. Let's see, cruiser research completes. Oh, they, they formally declared war on us. Yes, it looks like everyone is declaring war on us because the entire galaxy hates us. Uh, fortunately, that does not really matter when we have large amounts of cruisers. Speaking of cruisers, go ahead and get these upgraded. Make two of you here, and you also make two of you, so good, good luck dealing with those. How is our military units coming along? Almost, almost stopped making them for a moment, so we're going to go ahead and keep making more of them. Yes. Destroy. Here come our docking. Here come our gateway probes. There we go. You come over here. You come over here. There we go. Looks like our probes have docked. So we're good. Established. Let us go. Gateways online. Move in. Move in. Move in. Move in. Yes. Where where did you guys appear? You guys appeared right over here. Nice. That's a lot of dudes in one spot. Let's get out of this particular area before it all explodes due to the massive amounts of firepower. Now there is friendly fire here, so I want to be careful with this. Uh, I don't want all my dudes firing at the backs of each other. But it looks like they have a fair amount of units on defense. Let's go ahead and try to manually control one of you guys. Help out with these turrets. Very good. Let's go ahead and move these guys down the corridor. I'm going to move them in small batches, that way when friendly fire happens, they don't all just wipe each other off the face of the planet. Now we've got some more turrets over here. Let's help out. Oh. Please open the door. Uh, please open the door. Do it! I know you can! There you go. Eh. There we go. Charge! Go! Go get through the door! Don't stand in the door. Go through the door. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is why you don't leave things to the AI. AI is not not good. If everyone is wondering if compu if computers ever take over the world, this is this is a good reason why you don't have to be afraid. I think that's way too many units in one place. How's the space battle going? Um, about as I expected. Let's go ahead and start getting some more reinforcements over here, just in case. Go over here. You go over here. As our research continues, yes please, our ships, unit construction, keep the robots going, don't let them stop. And here we go, oh yeah, they're still going, much better, nope, nope, that switched off to the wrong thing, and a couple of you guys. Very good. Okay. Now we'll head back to the war.
How are you guys doing? Oh, you finally made it through and didn't shoot yourselves in the process. Very nice. Move over here. You guys need to move up. You guys move over here. You guys move up over here. Very good. Come on, move in, move in. You can do it. Oh dear. That looks like friendly fire waiting to happen. Come on. Oh dear, oh my. Okay, that could have been really bad. Move in, move in. You guys move in next. Alright, next up, we need you guys to go through here and try to clear out this zone. There's a lot of auto turrets in here, so we gotta be real careful about this. Now, before I take manual control, I'm just gonna kinda like spam click them in. Go on, go through, go through, go through, go through, go through, go through, go through. Alright, this guy made it through. Go on, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. The door was open. Why are you going through one at a time? Alright. Please open the door. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Open the door. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Okay. Assuming direct control. Open fire. Come on. Blow it up, 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 blow it up. Get it, 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 get it. Okay, that's one down. Okay. Okay. You didn't make it. Alright, next bunch, go through. Did their shields just drop? Okay, that's fine. They've got a lot more things going on here. So let's go ahead and move into the next wave. Uh, next wave over here? Where is the next wave? Sigma? Okay, galaxy map. Next wave should be right over here. Here it is. Move in, please. Thank you. Good. Maneuver over here. Go through, you brainless computer wannabes. Shoot it. Oh, there's a dude over here. Make him go away. Come on. There we go. Please shoot this. Alright. Ow! You're shooting me! Stop it! Okay. Stop it. Come over here. Just go through the door. Just, just go through the door, please. Thank you. Just go over here. Alright, these guys will be at the rear guard. It looks like... Oh dear. So I'll go over here. You come over here. If they can manage to find their way. Oh god, you just wiped out half of your units. How did you make it through? Oh jeez, he opened the door and didn't let anyone else go through. Okay. Everyone through. Everyone through. Everyone through. Alright, so now we've managed to... We'll have these guys hold off their reinforcements. And these guys need to go ahead and try to assassinate their leader. Now, in order to do that, the friendly fire is ridiculous around. Now, their leader is kind of up there. Uh, unfortunately, there's an energy shield here. So, we can't get through unless we break the energy shield. But the generators to break them are right here. Which is real convenient. Like, real convenient. Because I could just kind of sit here for a moment. And blow these up. And then there won't be any energy shields anymore. And well, so long as, yeah, as the, uh, as we still have those dudes back there, managing to hold their own, which I don't really trust them to do. And I can just kind of walk in here and do whatever I want because he's kind of harmless and literally surrounded right now. Uh, let's see, can I press all these buttons? Let's go ahead and deactivate their defense grid and lower their shields, just to let my starships do a little bit more damage. There we go. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of resources, which is really unfortunate for him. Uh, there's really not much for me to take around here. So I could just kind of come over here and do one of these. Like so. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this first introductory episode of Executive Assault 2. If you guys want to see some more of the super weapons and all of the other kinds of shenanigans that you could do here, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. But for now, have a good one, and make sure to smash that subscribe button. Later!